This is Randall Root, and this video is about how uh, an, about reporting services, which is an example of a web service application. The purpose of reporting services is to provide reports to end users. Example of report would look something like this, in which case I'm on a web ASP.NET web application. I click on the report link, and a report shows up. In addition to the report being visible to a end user from the website, they can also download the report in various different formats. The web application is actually interacted with interacts with a web service. This is on the address of report server. The web service, of course, is not made for human consumption. As such, you don't get to uh, see any pretty user interface. Instead, it's a collection of properties and methods that you can interact with by building an application like the one we see here called Report Manager. The web service itself ties back into a Windows service. A Windows service, as we'll see a little later on, is a collection of uh, programming statements that when the service is started will perform some kind of action and when the service is stopped will perform some other action. In addition, that the Windows service may have additional commands that you call. The Windows service for reporting server is seen under the Administrative Tools Services application. In here, when I scroll down to Microsoft SQL Server, I'll see the SQL Server Reporting Services service. Right now, it's up and running and running under a particular user account. Microsoft also created a configuration tool. This configuration tool allows us to uh, change the settings on the Windows service account the web service account and the databases that the web service talk uh, and Windows service interact with. In addition to that, it also allows us to change some settings for the uh, human um, user interface, which was that web application uh, that we saw previously, uh, Report Manager. So, in summary, the application, the reporting server application is, is made up of a Windows service, a web service, a database to hold data, and a human interface uh, UI uh, called um, Report Manager. When I make a report, the report is actually added to uh, a set of databases. So if I open up SQL Management Studio, I'll see the databases here. There's one called Report Server, another one called Report Server TempDB. In Report Server, I'll see that there's a table called Catalog. In Catalog, I'll see that there is a description of my report that we just looked at a few minutes ago. Again, this this entry equates to this report. In fact, if I delete this report, show details, click on the button to select the item and hit delete, 
when I go back to SQL Server and refresh my query, I'll see that that report is gone. They're directly tied together. What I like about reporting services is that it provides a great example of how web service is used. The concept is a developer goes through and creates a brand new project. The developer chooses a business intelligence project and creates a re report server project. At that point, the developer creates one or more reports. I'll connect to my own machine and choose something like Northwind. I'll then go ahead and build a query to get de report data. Choose customer ID and company name. And make a report. Once the developer has created the basic report, they're free to go through and change things. Or add things from the toolbox. When the developer is happy with their work, they can upload the file. I'll copy the right click on the tab at the top, copy the full path, and then go back to that web application we were looking at. From there you'll see an option to upload a file. And I'll put the address I copied over. files pulled through the web service through in, uh, then through the Windows application or web Windows service excuse me and then deposited in the database later on when a user requests to see the report by clicking on it the report is rendered by going to the database, picking up the information from the database, pulling the data through the Windows service, then pulling the data through the web service, and finally rendering it to the end user. Although it does seem like a lot of pieces to have to work with, the fact is it provides quite a bit of flexibility. For example, the report manager is a free user interface that's given to you, but certainly you can create your own. The web service uh, provides the, uh, all the properties and methods you need to create your own user interface. The web service works with a Windows service, but interacting with a Windows service from a remote machine is not exactly the easiest thing to do, especially in comparisons to a web service. So by pro providing a web service, it makes it so that you can have this web service interacted with from clients around the, the entire network, in fact, out even on the internet. Whereas exposing your Windows service would uh, not make a whole lot of sense to expose that on the internet. In fact, maybe not even on the intranet. The Windows service provides a ability to have the um, have code running under a given account and provide some other features such as recovery in case the service fails, automatic recovery, and uh, also a chain of dependencies if necessary. 
and of course the database holds the information necessary to render the report. Finally, the web service has uh, additional rendering uh, options. When you wish to, you could go ahead and create a new DLL that took the stream of data coming from the report through the web service. You add a DLL to the web service itself and then another option will be made available to clients in which case they can render it in some other format anything you designed or picked up from somebody else's design. In general, <coughs> Reporting Services makes a great example of a web service application. We'll talk more about the different pieces, Windows Services, the web service, um, interacting with the database, uh, as we go through various demos in the future. That's it for this demo. In this demo we took a look at the basic architecture of reporting services as an example of a window, uh, ASP.NET web service.